Okay, let's take a look at this problem with limiting and excess reagents. The first job is to decide what the balanced equation will look like. So looking at the two reactants, It's often easier to write balanced equations with water if we actually assume that water actually looks like this. Now we decide what kind of reaction we have and finish that balanced equation. This will be a single replacement reaction. So we'll have francium with hydroxide. Both have a charge of 1, so no subscripts required. Hydrogen will be displaced, but when it's alone, it's a diatomic molecule. So we're going to need to balance it here, here, and there. Now let's take the given data. Any data that's given needs to be changed into moles. So right away we want to divide by the molar mass to determine how many moles we have. When I put the moles in my molar mass, sorry, in my equation, I make sure to divide only by the mass of one of those atoms. I do not include the two that is the coefficient in front of the francium. Again, I'm going to use the given data for water and determine how many moles I have. Not using the 2 for the water, just using its molar mass. So looking at these values, what I need to decide is if I have 1.46 moles of francium, how many moles of water would need to be reacted with that according to the balanced equation? According to the balanced equation, I would need the same amount of moles of water. Alternatively, if I decided to start with this many moles of water, how many moles of francium would I need to react with that? I would need the same exact amount of moles. The decision needs to be made as to which is doable, the red line with the 1.46 moles or the green line with the 4.69 moles. We always choose the line with the least numbers in them, the lowest amounts in them, because that is the line that contains the amount of moles that we actually have available to react in the equation. So this reaction here can't happen because we don't have 4.69 moles here. We don't have enough of it. So francium becomes my limiting reagent or limiting reactant because I didn't have the 4.69 moles necessary to do the line in green. Water becomes my excess reactant or excess reagent because I had 4.69 moles, but I decided instead to follow the ratio where I was only going to react 1.46 moles. Looking at this balanced equation, the number of moles we determined from the limiting reagent, we can now go and determine the grams of each one of the other chemicals involved in this reaction. Question asks for the grams of each product form. I'm going to do the additional step of determining the grams of water which actually reacted.
the law of conservation of mass is a check which states that the sum of the mass of the reactants should be equal to the sum of the mass of the products. If I add up the mass of the reactants, it should equal to the same answer as when I add up the mass of the products. So we're going to check our answers. That is a confirmed check. Those answers match. When we look at our equation, there's one other, th one other thing we can look at, and that is the excess mass that was involved in this reaction. 84.5 gram grams was originally reacted we determined that only 26.3 grams actually reacted, so there are 58.1 grams of excess water that remain unreacted in this equation. We could also do the excess in moles. We know that there was originally 4.69 moles of water available. That number corresponds directly to this available amount to react. We know that we only reacted 1.46 moles, and so we know that there are 3.23 moles of excess water. On the screen then we're showing the grams of water that were available to react minus the 26.3 grams that actually reacted showing the 58.1 grams of excess water. We could also relate those results to the amount of moles that were originally available. The 84.5 grams is equivalent to 4.69 moles. The 26.3 grams that actually reacted is equivalent to 1.46 moles, and the 58.1 grams of excess water is equivalent to 3.23 moles of excess water.